Hey guys and welcome back to another video. If you are new here then hi my name is Brittany and I'm a nurse practitioner and I am the creator of the Brittany Holzbeck NP review. It is the most comprehensive and affordable nurse practitioner boards review on the market. The review is updated annually and it's accredited by the AANP so if you take the course you are also eligible for 15 continuing education credits. So if you're planning for your NP boards, make sure that you check it out at www.thenewnp.com and I'll make sure to have it linked in the description box below for you as well. Also at thenewnp.com, there is a nurse practitioner clinical pearls membership that has monthly content for nurse practitioners, including educational videos, tutorials, case studies. It's only $7 a month. So there's plenty of evidence-based resources for nurse practitioners in all different phases of their practice. And then finally, before I get into the video, if you do not already know, I did actually go ahead and create and release a new guidebook for nurse practitioners that covers the most common diagnoses seen in practice. So clinical signs, how to diagnose, treat, follow-up recommendations, and so on. And the idea is that it it's meant to be extremely comprehensive and just a really easy to quickly reference and practice even if you are like a nurse practitioner student and you're doing clinicals just a great tool it is a digital product but once you purchase it you can of course print it if you would like i actually have a copy here i printed it and i had it bound through canva for a pretty reasonable price I do have a business account with that company, which is why I chose them for printing, but there are other options like uh, Staples, Shutterfly, FedEx. I'm sure there's others too, and I'm actually gonna show it to you wherever I have it. Okay, found it. So this is kind of what it looks like. This is the cover. I did have it um, bound, like I said. Um, in the front, you can see like the table of contents. Let's see if I can like that maybe um so there's like foundations vital signs history taking how to build a comprehensive hpi what is really cool about this and what i think is probably going to be really helpful is i have a very comprehensive adult physical exam and pediatric physical exam like red flags to look for just different tests that you can do so that's like all in like the unit one which is just foundational content understanding labs diagnostic imaging, pediatric developed milestones, so just really foundational content. And then unit two down here, you can see are the most common diagnoses per system. So, um, you know, it just goes through again, like musculoskeletal, endocrine, hematology, all that stuff. I include some images throughout. I feel like this is really easy to follow. Let's see if I can pull up just something quickly, but like, you know, here we're talking about clavicle fractures. You'll see these red flags throughout the book. Um, that's stuff that you want to be on the lookout for. They're red flags with your exam. Things that often will indicate further workup, higher level of care, and just things that you really need to look out for in practice. So like I said, if you're a nurse practitioner in practice or if you're a student even doing your clinicals, I think it is going to be a very useful tool for you. I did work incredibly hard on it. So I do hope that you find it very helpful in your practice. But all right, now let's actually get into today's video. And for today, I am going to cover three vaccines that you need to know for boards and just some key points regarding each vaccine. So first up, let's talk about the hepatitis B vaccine. And so this is routinely given as a three dose series with the first dose given within 24 hours of birth, the second dose at one to two months, and then the final dose is between six through 18 months. Now, this recommendation is for medically stable infants weighing two kilograms or more. If the infant weighs less than two kilograms, then the first dose should be given at the chronological age of one month or at hospital discharge, whichever comes first. And this is regardless of the infant's weight. Now for infants born to a hepatitis B positive mother, they are given both the hepatitis B vaccine 
and hepatitis B immunoglobulin. And that's given in separate limbs within 12 hours of birth. So the hepatitis B vaccine is given at birth to one, protect newborns from acquiring hepatitis B virus infection. This can be transmitted from mother to baby during birth, but also early vaccination helps to prevent the development of chronic hepatitis B infection and it reduces the risk of liver disease, cirrhosis, and even liver cancer later in life. All right, so next up, let's talk about the MMR vaccination. So this protects against measles, mumps, and rubella. The MMR vaccine is highly effective in preventing these diseases, which can cause serious complications such as pneumonia, encephalitis, deafness, and congenital rubella syndrome. So this is a two dose series vaccine given first between 12 and 15 months, and then again between four and six years of age. So the MMR vaccine, it's a live attenuated vaccine, meaning it contains weakened forms of the virus to stimulate immunity without actually causing that person to become ill. So because of this, the MMR vaccine is going to be contraindicated in pregnancy and in immunocompromised patients, for example, those that have HIV or if they are undergoing cancer treatments. All right, and then finally, I want to talk with you about the DTaP vaccine. So this is a combination immunization and it protects against three serious bacterial diseases. So we have diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis, also known as whooping cough. So the DTAP contains inactivated toxins and bacterial components to stimulate immunity safely for the patient. It's a five part series vaccine with three doses given as the primary series and then two boosters later on in life. So the series is given first at two months and then four months and then finally at six months. Easy to remember, two, four, six. The boosters are administered between 15 and 18 months and then again between four and six years of age. Now, in comparison, there's also the Tdap vaccine. So this protects again against those same three diseases, but with a reduced dose of the pertussis component, making it more suitable for adolescents and adults. So the Tdap is given as a single dose between 11 and 12 years of age, and then it's given again as a booster every 10 years. However, the Tdap is also recommended during each pregnancy, typically during the third trimester between 27 and 36 weeks, and this is to protect both the mother and the newborn from pertussis. Routine Tdap vaccine during pregnancy is so important because when a pregnant woman receives the vaccine, she develops antibodies that can be transferred to the baby through the placenta. And so this passive immunity helps to protect the infant during their first few months of life before they themselves are old enough to receive their own vaccines. But all right, I think that's going to complete today's video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure if you want to see more content like this that you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel. It is a free way to support the channel and also just kind of lets me know what kind of content you want to see. Also, don't forget, all of my resources can also be found at www.thenewnp.com. It's always going to be linked in the description to these videos. But all right, other than that, I wish you guys nothing but the best. Don't forget to learn something new every day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.